Okay, Nick, I'm going to show you how I was doing the uh, string against the arrow. So I just start with a piece of string here that's about 12 inches long. It's probably longer than what I need. Um, but what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Here we go. So I start with a piece of string about 12 inches long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop in part of the rope. Uh, part of the string and so this loop only needs to be as long as the uh, the lashing that I'm going to do uh, and it's it's okay if it starts out a little bit too long because you're going to trim the ends um, so we just make the loop and you uh, you kind of hold it here against the the side of the arrow and then I'm going to push down with my finger to hold it still so I've got a short end here that's going to that's going to stay hanging out to the end and then the other direction I've got the got the loop there so I'm just going to put my finger here, and I'm going to grab this long piece that's hanging off the end, and I'm going to start lashing around. And I'm going to try to keep it kind of close here, but uh, if I spread out a little bit like this, it's not a big deal because what you can do is you can just push it together, kind of squish it together. So after I make, so what is that, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten see how it's all spread out all i really have to do is just whoop, give a little push and it'll tighten up pretty nicely okay so after i've made the last one here's the piece that i've been lashing around i'm going to just put it through whoop, get back under the under the camera here i'm just going to push it through the loop that i left at the beginning and so now that it's through the loop when I pull on this other end over here I'm <clears throat> it's gonna pull it all close together now what you want to do is the the loop has just now started going inside of the uh, the lashing you want to pull that loop about halfway through and once you get it about halfway through, you pull on the ends a little bit. You don't have to pull real, real tight. Make sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to, my knots on the other pieces are on this side. So I'm just going to twist it and I can slide it on down the arrow shaft to get this where I want it. And once I have it in just the right spot, all you have to do is trim off these two extra pieces. Little snip here, little snip there, get your super glue, which I'm looking for my super glue right now, it's disappeared on me, here it is. So I have the, the two little pieces that were just left right there. Just take the super glue and the little drop on each end. And then a little bit across the back here. Like that. So all these knots are lined up on the back side of the arrow so they won't have to show. When that super glue dries, it won't... It won't twist around the arrow. The knots won't come undone. It's a uh, it's pretty sturdy. And then on the other side, when you look at the other side of the arrow, you don't see any of the knots. Um, so all all you see left of the knot is just this little this little piece of string that it's kind of hard to trim completely off, hanging off the end of the arrow. So I hope that helps you.